Welcome to Cat and Raven Designs. I'm thirsty. I'm not. I'd say I'm hydrated. <laughs> Extremely hydrated. Intros in demisexual. <laughs> Extremely hydrated. Please go away. <laughs> All right. Well, we are diving into the third of four of my birthday month slash Halloween soaps. As we've talked about in the previous videos, my birthday is October 3rd. And yes, these soaps come out at the end of September, September 24th, I believe. It's the last Friday of September. I just co-opt Halloween because that's what I want to do. Stop me. You can't. So here we are. <laughs> you do what you want. I do, I do, in fact, occasionally do what I want. Sometimes. And I want to do this. So I'm going to do it. Uh, and this particular design went through some iterations. I, this happens every year. Last year, too, I was like, oh, let me do a soap with, like, classic Halloween colors. I'll do black and purple and green and orange all in one soap. Yeah, only I don't like doing that. And Kat talked me out of it because I was making the embeds for this soap and I had extra melt and pour, so I put it in a little mini mold. And then I pulled it out and I was like, oh, no, I love it. Oh no, and I had to change it to different colors. <laughs> so now this is sort of a, a vintage? Halloween? Yeah. Halloween that kind of got left out for a while and faded a little bit. I, I don't know. Vintage. I like vintage. Yes, it's very Rachel Maxey. Yes. Rachel Maxey would totally dig this color scheme. Oh God, 100%. you're right. I love Rachel Maxey. Me too. All right, so I'm going to be doing this in stripes. So a good portion of this video is just going to be fast forwarded because pouring colors is so much more interesting watching it just go, go, go and fast forwarded without the talking over it. At least I think so. Anyway, stripes can be really boring to pour. So our fragrance oil is candied apple. And yes, I'm aware that the label says 0% use for soap. This is an older label. There was a bunch of changes in February of this year for fragrance oils. This was one of them. It is now soap safe on uh, Candle Science's website. I bought it after that change happened. It's just an older label, so it's fine, I promise. We're also running kind of low on colorants, so I'm pulling a cat and using 8 million colorants. So for my orange, I'm gonna be doing Tequila Sunrise, Orange Vibrance, just a touch of Always a Bridesmaid, with the barest hint of lustrous brown to jewel tone it out a little bit. Next layer is going to be just a little bit of bronze brown, lustrous brown, and a touch of brown iron oxide. Then we're gonna have neutral gray and satin gray pillowcase, which are nearly the same color, but I'm getting low on both. So my final layer is gonna be black iron oxide. All of these colors were also used in the mountain port embeds, which are gonna go on top. So I'm also doing things a little bit different. This will make filming this a little easier too, where I'm not gonna mix up the entire batch like we normally would. I'm going to pour off a quarter of it and get a quarter of the lye and just do one color at a time. So let's get started on that. And if any of the audio is a little bit funky, apologies. Normally we put up some curtains to help deaden some of the sound and keep the echoes down, but it has been hot, so hot. And miserable. And miserable and smoky because there's a big fire like less than 50 miles away. And it's just and like another big fire to the north of us. We're dying a little bit. So I, if I put the curtains up right now, it makes it so hot and sweaty in here and I hate it. So we're just going to deal with less than ideal sound so that we're not suffering while we create soap. I'm sure you understand. So the big thing with this one is I just, I wanted it to just scream like Halloween aesthetic. That was the whole plan. I just had like another, for lack of a better term, wildfire parody pop in my head. Oh no. The hills are alive with wildfires. <laughs> no. Ah, oh, poor state. <laughs> we live in California, is that obvious? <laughs> We're on fire like every summer. I, I have to have humor about it or I'd just be miserable with all the smoke and the ash and the roadiness. Yeah, it's not my fave. So the fun thing about doing it this way is that I get to use just one bucket so I minimize our dishes. I also get to uh, step away in between pours while I wait for it to set up. I'm not in any kind of rush, which is nice. So I'd highly recommend if you're doing stripes on your soap, 
Set it up so you can pour separate batches for separate colors. It just makes your life infinitely easier. Yes. Yes, it does. Okay. So I think how we're going to set up the rest of this filming, because I'm going to be fast forwarding it. Um, I'm going to give this a blend where you can see it. And then I'm going to have Kat move the camera over to the mold. And then the camera's just going to stay there. So blendy blend. <laughs> See, told you it'd be way more interesting watching that in fast speed. Well, <laughs> soap's all done. All 40 embeds are on there, plus a couple little extras on there. So we're going to let this sit overnight, and then we will come back and cut this tomorrow. And uh, we will show you what it looks like then. So in the meantime, if there's an ad available with YouTube, we'll let that run. If you'd like to, leave a comment what your favorite candy is, because this is candy apple. One of my favorites is caramel, for sure. Or Reese's. Everybody likes Reese's. <laughs> All right, see you in a minute. Welcome back. We have our finished loaf here, which is uh, looking good to go. I was kind of comparing it to the other version, and uh, apparently I did slightly different colors. This one has a brighter orange than the other one, or it uh, discolors. One of the two. One of the two. <laughs> Either I'm inconsistent or discoloration. Who knows? I shall try my best to play for you the song of our people. Playing. Kinda. <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Playing. Jesus. <laughs> it's sticky. Especially that top black layer. God. It did some weird <laughs> this time. It's like extra super fat in the top layer. These layers aren't exactly straight either. They're like, kind of go boop, boop. Like Did a hill in the middle. Oh, oops. <laughs> Must not have tapped it good enough. <sighs> Losing your touch there. Losing Shut up. your touch. How dare you? <laughs> How dare you? It's because you're getting old, ain't it? What? <laughs> 34. <laughs> Well, not 24 yet, but close. <laughs> Very close. I know, I'm a dick. You? Me? A dick? Never. The frequency to which Raven has made me move this camera. Gosh, I wonder what it's like trying to chase after somebody with a camera. Weird. I never, ever experienced that. Never. Never. I'm a host of angels. A host of angels. <laughs> Not even just one, a whole host. Several. <laughs> I work for Cherub. <laughs> Alright, let's give this a cut. What's doing weird things? <laughs> it's growing little bits. What happened? <laughs> I think you might be right, it might be extra super fat. Like that top layer is just like. You know, your normal super fat content, I'm just going to be like more. I'm going to be extra. <laughs> well, I suppose it doesn't really matter pulling it out of the middle or pulling it out of the sides because uh, they all look the same. They're all stripies. Stripey, stripey, stripey. Little pumpkin on top. Peace. I don't know why that one layer is so weird. It's definitely oil. I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of like what happened with... Uh, my Gryffindor soap, where there seemed to be like extra super fat on top. Yeah. Like every other layer was fine. <laughs> Get it. I guess those top layers are just gonna be super moisturizing. <laughs> right? So here are the two batches. Uh, they are a little bit different. So this is the batch that I made off camera where I made the orange a little bit darker and apparently did not use enough gray. <laughs> <laughs> and didn't have any weirdness in that top layer. It has to be extra oil. 
I rolled up all the little scraps that came off and they formed together just fine into a little ball. So they're fine. It's just ugly. <laughs> but it's okay. It kind of works with the aesthetic. This one looks haunted. This one just looks old. All right, so these will be available at the end of September as part of our Raven's Birthday Month slash Halloween collection. You'll be able to snag yours. We've got the little kitties on these ones. Here's the rest of these ones. Nice. All right, so thanks for coming and hanging out with us. We will catch you for a vlog on Saturday, and we'll see you again next Wednesday for another soap making video. Hope you're having a good day and get hydrated if you have not already. I'll wait. It's cool. Go grab your water bottle. What's your favorite sticker that's on your water bottle? I have a really cool holographic one. All right, so good. We'll catch you later. Bye.